I pray for you who is a man of God who has been trusting God for lifting. I pray for you who is a businessman who is at a defining moment. You've been praying for lifting. I pray for politicians, members of parliament, those in government, those in ministry, those trusting God to lift even financially. There is grace. I have seen this grace work. I have seen it work wonders. And therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, as instructed by God, I stretch my hands over everyone here. The grace that lifts, the grace that exalts, even through humility, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Hear me. For some of you, this is the beginning of the fulfillment of prophecy. All the things you saw in your dreams, God was waiting for you to hear this sermon before the angels are activated. Because where God is taking you, you need this message to remain. Therefore, I declare, now that you have heard it, I call upon my God and your God. Father, in a fearful way, begin to lift people from tonight. Spiritual liftings, financial liftings, intellectual liftings ministerial liftings in the name of jesus christ access to systems access to the hearts of kings may that grace come upon you now never will you call for help and be left alone again in the name of jesus christ hear me anyone who is due for promotion of all sorts and has been kept by reason of any kapatos calibra in the name that is above all names may this grace come upon you and lift you to a sign and a wonder those in ministry co-laborers in the gospel i stand in agreement with you that in the name of jesus everything that has taunted the growth of your churches your ministries your ministerial platforms by the power that raised christ from the dead receive this grace and rise some of us have been at the same level for a long time you have not gone down but you've not gone up either i pray for you by this grace ye have encompassed this mountain long enough rise up now in the name of jesus hear me any spirit that has taken advantage of pride in your life to keep you down help that gentleman any spirit that has cooperated with your ignorance in this area some of you may have been arrogant based on this psychological thing it's just your passion to prove a point your passion to be known and to be celebrated any spirit that has taken advantage of you by the blood of the eternal covenant i cast those spirits out of your life out of your destiny out of your destiny in the name of jesus christ therefore i declare over your life no more stagnation age-long doors that have refused to open in the name of jesus we swing them open now hear me whatever has stunted your office your business the works of your hands every manifestation of pride that has come through you directly or indirectly or has come from your children and even those you are raising spiritually or otherwise i pray may the mercy of god speak for you grace to walk in true humility receive that grace grace to acknowledge Jesus as the source and the only source of your rising may that grace be released upon you hear me any association in your life that seeks to distract you from acknowledging Jesus and anything that is planted in your heart that makes you ashamed of letting the nations know that he is the lifter I command it out of your heart now but thou 
shall remember the Lord thy God but thou shall remember the Lord thy God but thou shall remember the one who lifted the one who blessed that grace comes upon you now yeah. hear me some of you it will not reach the next one week you will return back with strange testimonies of God's open I say this to you by the God of heaven some of you before next Sunday you will stand here to share tear some testimonies of the lifting power of humility by this grace doors that were once open and are now closed may they be reopened again in the name of Jesus please give ear O oh my people to my law incline your ears to the words of my mouth and I will open my mouth in a parable I will utter dark sayings of old which we have heard and know and our fathers have told us we will not hide them from their children showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he had done for he had established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel which he command, commanded our father that they should make known unto their children that the generation to come might know them even the generation which should be born who shall arise and declare them to their children that they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God but keep his commandments and might not be as their fathers a stubborn and rebellious generation a generation that set not their hearts aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. The children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, turned back in the day of battle. They kept not the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law and forgot his works and his wonders that he has showed them. Marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt in the field of Zoan he divided the sea and caused them to pass through he made the waters to stand as a, as an heap in the daytime also he led them with a cloud and all the night with a light of fire he cleaved the law he cleaved the rock in the wilderness and gave them drink out of the de out of the great depths he brought streams out of the rock and caused waters to run down run down like river and they sinned yet more against him by provoking the most high in the wilderness and they tempted god in their heart by asking meat for their lust yea they speak against god they said can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Behold, he smote the rock that the waters gushed out, and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore the Lord heard this and was wroth. So a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also came upon Israel. Because they believed not in God and trusted not in his salvation, though he had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven, and had rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the corn of heaven, man did eat angels' food, he sent them meat to the full, he caused an east wind to blow in the heaven. And by his power he brought in the south wind. He rained flesh also upon them as dust, and feathered fowls like as the sand of the sea, and he let it fall in the midst of their camp, round about their 
round about their habitations. So they did eat and were filled, for he gave them their own desire. They were not estranged from their lust, but while their meat was set in their mouth, the wrath of God came upon them and slew the fattest of them and smote down the chosen men of Israel. For all this they sinned still and believed not for his wondrous works. Therefore their days did he consume in vanity and their years in trouble. When he slew them, they thought then they sought him, and they returned and inquired earlier after God, and they remembered that God was their rock, and the high God their redeemer. Nevertheless, they did flatter him with their mouth, and they lied unto him with their tongues, for their heart was not right with him. Neither were they steadfast in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity, and destroyed them not. Yea, many a time turned his anger away, and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passeth away, and cometh not again. How oft did, he, how oft did they provoke him in wilderness? and grieve him in the desert. Yea, they turned back and tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. They remember not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy, how he had wrought his signs in Egypt and his wonders in the field of Zoan, and had turned their rivers into blood, and their floods they could not drink. He sent diverse sorts of flies among them which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. He, also, he gave also their increase unto the caterpillar, and their labor unto the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail, with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. He gave up their cattle also to the hail, and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble. By sending evil angels among them, he made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence, and smote all the firstborn in Egypt. <laughs>